Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find best and worst candidate rules using different metrics in machine learning with a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a training set with 60 positive examples and 100 negative examples. Also, there were two rules given to us. The first rule covers 50 positive examples and 5 negative examples. Second rule covers 2 positive examples and no negative examples. Given this particular data, we need to determine the best and worst candidate rules using rule accuracy, likelihood ratio statistic and Laplace measure. First we will understand how to find best and worst candidate rules using rule accuracy. We can find the rule accuracy for each of those particular rules using this particular equation. Rule accuracy is always equivalent to f plus divided by n where n is the number of examples covered by that particular rule. F plus is the number of positive examples covered by that particular rule. If you consider the first rule, if you look at this particular rule number one, there are 50 positive examples are there. The meaning of this one is F plus is equal to 50. And if you add both positive and negative examples, we have 55 examples. The meaning of this one is N is equal to 55 here. And if I put these particular values in this particular equation, the rule accuracy for rule number one is equal to 50 divided by 55 which is equal to 90.9 over here. Similarly, we will calculate the rule accuracy for the second rule. In this second rule, we have two positive examples. It means F plus is equal to 2 and two positive examples and uh, zero negative examples meaning we have totally two examples here. So the rule accuracy for this one is 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 100% in this case. If you look at this particular rule accuracy, the rule accuracy for rule number 2 is better compared to rule accuracy for the first rule here. So we can say that the rule number 2 is the best candidate compared to rule number 1 in this case. Now I will discuss how to find the best and worst candidate rule using likelihood ratio statistic. Likelihood ratio statistic is calculated using this equation. R is equal to 2 summation over all possible classes. There are two possible classes here plus and minus f of i log f of i divided by e of i to the base 2 here. In this case i is the number of classes. As said earlier we have two classes. One is positive another one is negative in this case. f of i is number of ith class examples covered by that particular rule and e i is the expected frequency of the rule that makes the random predictions here. First, I will consider the rule number 1. If you consider the rule number 1, we will try to calculate E of uh, I here. So, I can be positive or negative in this case. Expected frequency for positive class that is uh, E plus is equal to the total number of examples in that particular rule. If you consider rule number 1, 50 plus 5. So, totally 55 examples are there multiplied by because we are considering positive class here we need to know how many number of total positive examples are there that is 60 here divided by total number of examples that is equal to 160 in this case. So once I solve it I will get 20.625 over here. Now uh, we need to calculate the expected frequency for negative class that is nothing but E minus which is equal to again the total number of examples covered by this particular rule that is 55 multiplied by the negative number of examples that is equal to 100 divided by total number of examples that is equal to 160 here which is equal to 34.375 in this case. Now we will put these particular values in this particular likelihood ratio statistic equation that is R of R1 that is rule 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by in the first case F of I. I is nothing but what plus here so f plus is equal to 50 positive examples are there here multiplied by log of f of i f of i is again f of plus which is equal to 50 here divided by e plus which is equal to 20.625 over here plus the number of negative examples because in the second case i will become minus here f of minus is equal to 5 negative examples are there multiplied by log of f of minus that is again 5 here divided by e of minus that is equal to 34.375 and once I solve this particular equation I will get r of r1 is equal to 99.99 in this case. Coming back to rule number 2 in rule number 2 
again we need to calculate the expected frequency for positive class that is e plus which is equal to total number of examples covered by rule number 2 is 2 plus 0 that is equal to 2 multiplied by the number of positive examples that is 60 divided by total number of examples which is equal to 0.75 here similarly we will calculate the expected frequency for the negative class that is e of minus is equal to 2 that is the total number of examples multiplied by the number of negative examples that is 100 divided by total number of examples that is 160 which is equal to 1.25 over here now once you calculate these things we will put again these values in this equation that is r of r2 is equal to 2 multiplied by i will be plus in the first iteration so f plus is equal to 2 here multiplied by log of 2 divided by e plus which is equal to 0.75 so that is what i have written in this case done with the first part we will go with the second part that is i is equal to minus f minus log of f minus divided by e minus f minus is equal to 0 here because there are no negative examples in this case so 0 multiplied by log of 0 divided by 1.25 to the base 2 this is 0 multiplied by anything is equal to 0 here so once i solve this particular thing i will get r of r2 is equal to 5.66 over here now we have already calculated r of r1 that is equal to 99.9 r of r2 we have calculated that is equal to 5.66 here between these two r of r1 is having a maximum value so you can say that r1 is the best candidate and r2 is the worst candidate according to likelihood ratio statistic here coming back to the third one that is known as laplace measure the laplace measure for a particular rule is calculated using this equation f plus plus 1 divided by n plus k where n is the total number of examples covered by that particular rule f plus is the number of positive examples covered by that particular rule k is the total number of classes now we will consider the rule number one the laplace measure for rule number one is equal to f plus that is the number of positive examples covered by r1 is 50 plus 1 divided by the total number of examples in r1 is 50 plus 5 which is equal to 55 plus k k is equal to number of classes number of classes are two here one is positive one more is negative here and once i solve it i will get 89.47 in this case coming back to rule number two the laplace measure for rule number two is equal to again f plus the number of positive example covered by this particular rule that is equal to two plus one that is the numerator here divided by n the total number of examples in rule number two is equal to two here plus k k is again 2 here because we have two classes once i solve it i will get 75 percent here now if you compare these two things that is uh, laplace measure of r1 and r2 the laplace measure of r1 is more compared to r2 which indicates that r1 is the best candidate compared to r2 i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching